We've been getting a lot of rain in California, you guys, which is a good thing, but it's also um, overflowing my pool. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's over the fill line. Um, the fill line is that line between those two tiles. So pretty much here. And it's now, oh, like uh, I would say about an inch and an inch and a half over that um, fill line. You can see it more down there. You can see it's kind of, when it's moving, it kind of goes way up there. But right now, it's, you can see it's, it's overflowing. And definitely, if it continues to rain, I'm going to have to pump some of this water out. Because uh, it, it does impact how my... Um, the circulation in my water um, it's kind of just sitting there this usually goes from this step down a step and you kind of see the water flow down it's, it's still moving but it's just significantly less than what it normally looks like when it's overflowing but um, I have a solution and the solution is this bad boy right here it's uh, a superior pump utility pump half horsepower it pumps up to 3,300 gallons per hour. I've used it in the past before um, because I drained my pool halfway to reduce the cyanuric acid. And now I'm using it again. Um, so I'm getting definitely my money's worth. Uh, but I wanted just to make a quick video to show you guys uh, how it works. All right, let's see what you get inside this box. Uh, inside the box comes, of course, the pump itself and some literature. Of course, I recommend you read this carefully to check out the safety precautions. Um, little disclaimer, I'm just showing you the product and how I use this product. Um, I certainly would recommend that you follow the instructions that are listed on the owner's manual. So you get the pump and let's just unwind this because I'm going to use it right now to kind of show you how to use it. You need a hose. Your hose goes here, plugs into that. You can also use, this is just a standard um, garden hose that you can plug in or you could use a, you can take this piece off here. I'm going to take it off for you guys so you can see and you can use a pool vacuum hose as well. And that would go here, plugs into there. So very neat. Like that you can do either or. Obviously you'll get more flow from the vacuum, the pool vacuum hose versus a standard garden hose. Just depends on your hose too. But let's go ahead and plug it in, try it out. And then um, we'll show you how that works. All right, you guys, I'm right by my pool now. Um, I've secured the, the garden hose to the pump. Um, I'm going to most likely set it right in either the first or second step. And uh, let's go ahead and... There's no on and off switch for this pump. But as soon as you plug it into uh, an outlet, which I found one just right here, right by the pool, which is kind of convenient, right? Obviously, I think the instructions say not to use an extension cord, but hey, you know... This is not going to be long enough for most people. It's only like six or eight feet long. It's not very long. And definitely it's not going to reach for the pool to be sat in one of the steps. But let's figure this out. Let's try it out. And uh, let me just get in. A, I'll get another extension cord so you can get a better view. All right, you guys. I added an extension cord just so I can reach the pool. It's a little short. But just to note here. My outlet does have a GFCI on it, so it's a safety thing to have. I think it's recommended that there is one in case of, uh, you know, I get electrocuted. But anyways, I have it here, and I have an on and off switch, so I can easily turn it off, on and off with this extension. So let's go ahead and drop. Right now it's in an off position. Uh, and make sure it's off. Uh, otherwise, the pump would be running right now. But now I can safely put it on the first step here. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly submerge the pump to that second step. There, it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. 
the water should come out of my hose here. And then and normally what I do is, is I'll just look for the nearest drain, which is this one right here. Obviously it's a little dirty, they haven't used it in a while. Put a debris on it. And um, that's how I will drain some of this pool water. All right, pumps in place. Let's switch this bad boy on. And there you have it. This would normally go down my drain to empty out the pool, to drain my pool. And it's working beautifully. I really like this pump. Uh, it gives a good flow. It's powerful enough to drain this pool. I think it took me to drain half of it, it was like, I don't know, eight hours. This is a 16,000 gallon pool. So it's, it's, so it works well. Obviously I'm not draining my pool, I'm just bringing it down a notch so I can, you know, bring it down back to the tile line where it needs to be. So yeah, it works great. If you're interested in a pump or this pump here, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, it is an affiliated link, um, so, I mean, I get a small commission, I'm not going to get rich off of it, but it is at no additional cost to you, but definitely it would help the channel out, but um, if you like what you see, I'm going to be posting more videos about pool products and items that I use to clean my pool and pool maintenance, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day or evening. See ya.